Hi, my name is Sean Finnegan, and this is my portfolio project. I'm using OAuth 2 Google Sign-In for a PE clipboard app, and it's using Firebase as a backend or as a database. Um, it's a gradebook app for PE teachers and coaches. If it doesn't detect that you have any gradebook set up, it'll bring you to the gradebook page. And I'm showing you on an iPad mini view because that'll be the primary purpose of it is a iPhone or iPad. So I'll create one called Spring 2022. Then it takes you to classes where you can add classes. I'll call it P1, period two, three, for example. When I'm finished, click finish. Then I could also delete classes. Um, click on the minus icon. It'll warn you that you'll lose any information from rosters and so on. And if I click on the class itself, It'll take me to an area where I can upload a roster or I can add them manually. So if I add it on manually, um, it would just keep adding whatever you're typing in. And then you can delete students in the same way. Um, so let's say I wanted to actually add a whole roster rather than doing it all of them individually. I can do it. It'll tell you how to do it through a CSV file. Um, and I'm going to click here, success, it'll redirect me back. Now I have all my students. So that's just a CSV file with the, the names in the first column of a Google sheet or an Excel sheet and so on. So this is my main part of the app um, where you can actually evaluate students. If I click on the student, it'll deduct points. If I click on the points, it'll add points. Um, I can take attendance for each individual student absent, tardy, present, so on. And then um, these are all notes. So I can you know, say they're not, not participating or whatever notes, and they're all customizable. So if I go back to settings here and I click on settings, I can customize each of these notes. Let's say I just wanted to end. And then I can also choose to deduct points or add points to it based on that note. So let's say I did minus two, and then let's call this extra credit here. And let's go plus two if I hit. And then I can also change the daily points. Let's say I said change five, hit save. Now, if I go back to my classes, let's go back to period one, you'll see it's now five points and my notes, notes reflect the new things. If I click on the note, you can see it deducts two points. If I click off, it adds it back, extra credit, adds two and so on. And that's for each individual student. So to grade, um, let's say I evaluate my whole class, take some notes, and this is a custom note, so none of them fit the mold, then you can type in, let's say they're injured, and go from there. So if I scroll down, I can submit. Let's me know it's saving it to Redux, and then Firebase will sense that and update. And now if I go to student info, you'll see each individual student where you can see kind of a snapshot of their grade, attendance, and so on, you know, one absent, and all the notes will show up here too. I didn't add too many, but um, you can click on each student. I wanted to show you what it looks like on a desktop view, because a lot of times when you're viewing grades, you'll be on a desktop. And actually, if I flip this, it might show it. Yeah, so it'll it end up showing more of a, a table where you can see more details on the student or on each student and their grades, and it'll add up, it'll give the total each day you add it or submit, it'll add up and change the total, along with absences and other things. If you click here, you can get more information on how to set it all up, and uploading rosters, CSV files, and so on. Um, so this is the code. I use Redux, um, React, React Router. Um, here I'm checking to see if any changes are happen in Redux. If it does, change it in uh, Firebase. Let's see, source code, I have all my pages here, components, and so on. Uh, let's go to dependencies, what else? Google API, Firebase Bootstrap, Bootstrap Router, um, React Bootstrap are some of the other ones. Some of the challenges I had, Google OAuth 2 was a challenge, Redux was very challenging, uh, understanding Firebase was a challenge, and I had a lot of other challenges. Uh, but overall, I learned a lot, and thanks for watching my presentation.